Hi, welcome to this tutorial on finding the intersection of two lines. Now the best way I can think of illustrating this is by way of an example. And what we've got here is find the point of intersection of the lines L1 and L2 where L1 is such that y equals 2x plus 4 and L2 is such that 2y plus 3x equals 1. Now before we start what I would always encourage you to do is draw a sketch. And the reason for that is because if you draw a sketch you've got every chance of recognizing if your answer looks sensible. So to draw the sketch then of say y equals 2x plus 4 we know it's going to be a straight line and it's in the form y equals mx plus c so we know that it crosses the y-axis when x is naught making y4 so we can write this point in here as 4 let's just mark that in there it's got a gradient of 2 so it's going to slope upwards and so it's going to look something like this you might even want to find this point where it crosses the x-axis that's when y is naught and that would mean that x was minus 2 so that's quite useful to have that point in there and for line L2 well we could rearrange it similarly in the form y equals mx plus c and sketch it from there or we could just find out where it crosses the x and y axis by putting x and y individually equal to 0 whatever system we use would get something like this. Okay, now that means that this point is where the two lines intersect and you can see that this point will have an x-coordinate something greater than minus 2 and its y-coordinate will be less than 4. So that gives us some idea then what to expect. Okay, well how do we find this point of intersection? Let's label it. Let's say we call it A. So if we were trying to find that point A, let's give it a subtitle here for A, what we need to do is solve our two equations simultaneously. That's because at this point we're looking for a value of x and y that not only satisfies the blue line but also satisfies the red line. It satisfies both these equations and that's what simultaneous equations is all about. So to solve these two simultaneous equations, I would write each of them out, okay, so we've got y equals 2x plus 4 and number it in the usual way, and we've got the other one, 2y plus 3x equals 1. Now for something like this, two linear equations, I could do it by the method of elimination or by substitution. I'll do the elimination at the end because for this example it seems to work better for substitution because look we've got y equals 2x plus 4, y in terms of x so I could immediately substitute this into equation 2. So if I do that let's just put a note here sub 1 into 2 then we're going to therefore have 2 times whatever y is, which is 2x plus 4, 2x plus 4, and then we've got plus the 3x, and it equals that 1. So we just need to expand the bracket, so we've got 4x plus 8, and then the plus 3x equals 1. Group together the x's, so we end up with 7x, and subtract 8 from both sides, so 1 take away 8 is minus 7, and if we divide both sides by 7, we end up with x equaling minus 7 divided by 7, which is minus 1. And that's looking quite encouraging, because you can see our x-coordinate has got to be between naught here and minus 2, so minus 1 looks pretty good. We need to get that y-coordinate, so all we need to do is substitute let's just write substitute x equals minus 1 into either equation 1 or 2 it would seem sensible to put it into 1 because it gives us y directly so therefore we have y equals 2 times x but x is minus 1 and then plus that 4 so we end up with y equaling minus 2 plus 4 
which is 2. And again, that looks sensible. It's got to be more than that half. All right? So to, in summary, we can just say that therefore the point of intersection okay, has to be minus 1 and then the y coordinate is 2. Minus 1, 2. And there's our answer. Now I did say that uh, you could solve these equations by elimination and I will do that for you now. So if I'm doing this then by the process of elimination I would want to rearrange equation 1 and also double it. So if I was to double the y, let's say we take equation 1 and we multiply it by 2 and rearrange it, we're going to have 2y. This would be 4x plus 8, but I'm going to subtract that 4x now from both sides, so it would have 2y minus 4x equals 8. And I would call that equation 3. We've got equation 2. Let's just put it underneath here. 2 times 1, if you like. It's going to leave it unchanged. It would just be 2y plus 3x equals 1. And we'll keep that then as 2. So I can eliminate the y's here by simply subtracting the two equations. I'm going to do equation 3 minus equation 2. So 2y minus 2y is no y's, so we leave that. We've got minus 4x subtract plus 3x, which is minus 7x. So we end up with minus 7x. And 8 minus 1 is 7. And you can see we're getting back to the result we had before. If we divide both sides by minus 7, we end up with x being minus 1. And we can sub that back into equation 1 as we did before. We'll just write it down here. Sub x equals minus 1 into equation 1. And as before then, we got that y equal 2 times minus 1 plus 4, y equal 2. So again, therefore, the point of intersection has to be the coordinates minus 1, 2. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea then that if you want to find the point of intersection between two lines, you solve your equations simultaneously. There's one assumption I'm making, though, that the two lines are not parallel. Because obviously, if they're parallel, then there is not going to be any solution, any unique solution. All right? OK. Well, that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.